Now, how many people have heard of Agenda 21? Okay, Agenda 21, spooky as hell, isn't it? But it's all cloaked as, oh, this is great. I mean, the name Agenda 21 sounds like some kind of really spooky science fiction thing. Um, I, when I first talked about this on, on Fox, I can't tell you the number of people who went out and went and got and, and started going to their city council meetings and people in small towns were saying, my gosh, it's in our small town. Well, you started the movement. Mm -hmm. It's nationwide. People are doing this nationwide. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so explain what it is. Well, because it sounds like conspiracy. No, theory. you sound like you have tin foil on your head. Yeah. But it's the agenda for the 21st century rolled out at the 1992 Rio Earth Summit, and they're trying to bring it back during this current uh, summit in Rio. But the idea is this is sustainable development concocted in the mind of a guy that you've done a lot of stories on, Maurice Strong. His resume is more more uh, mysterious than Barack Obama's, and he put together this plan. And at the root of it. Mankind is evil. It's an assault on mankind. So Agenda 21 wants to change the way in which we consume, change our lifestyle, change economies, and hammer, again, capitalism and free markets and life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which Agenda 21 sees as nonsense. Okay, help me out. G give me, some, give me some, um, some hardcore facts to walk away with on Gen Agenda 21. If people have not heard of Agenda 21, anybody? Agenda 21 uh, demands, for example, uh, high-speed rail. We got these high-speed rail plans all over the country, but they see it primarily as a jobs program. Uh, Agenda 21 brought forth the whole green jobs notion. It pushes uh, alternative energy like nobody's business. It does not believe that property is a personal right. It believes that all natural resources belong to the state, not to individuals to make a profit off of. This is, you know, that's that's uh, Theodore Roosevelt. I mean, Theodore Roosevelt was right down that same road. Um, go ahead. There's sir. one other specific. I've been handed uh, the working drafts of these documents for the Rio summit over the past year and a half by one of the negotiators. And he sent me by email after the recent New York uh, negotiating session the, the draft declaration because they, it was supposed to have a, a green jobs treaty. But the Solyndra summit was not something our president needed right now. They couldn't agree on it. And so they've got a declaration. And it's to fill the gaps left after Agenda 21 and the Johannesburg de Declaration 10 years later. I attended that one. Mugabe and Castro got standing O's, uh, and Colin Powell was booed down. Um, Unbelievable. And in it, they have decided that the United States uh, all, uh, select wealthy countries. Uh, Germany? I don't know who they're talking about. But the United States is to give 0.7% of our GDP every year to the UN development programs with a taste on top because you know they're gonna have to they don't want to choke on that bag of money so they got a little get bigger get a little bit bigger to manage it 0 0.7 is not random it turns it just if you run the numbers that's 100 billion dollars per year it's a figure that applies to everybody but was clearly targeted at us 0 0.7 percent of our GDP 100 billion dollars every year we have to do it fast because of the uncertainty is causing the poor deer's heartburn. They're having a hard time planning because we haven't promised the money yet. That's actually in there. You have to get down past the transgender, the, the women's equity, and so on. It's easy to forget that this is about addressing an urgent environmental crisis, right. reading this deathless thing. But then they get to the money. And it's $100 billion each year just from us to pay countries with their own space programs, like India, to develop however they wish, but they'll call it sustainable, which means ration to, certain of us must ration today so we won't have to ration tomorrow. This will be agreed upon at Rio at this current conference. Okay. But politically binding. Hey, 